Welcome back guys, you're watching today's Platinum and today we're going to be going over some indicators that are going to be very beneficial for you guys to use when day trading, swing trading, looking to long term invest, overall just looking for great entry points on uh, coins, projects, whatever, stocks, anything, anything you guys want to get into, um, that's what we're going to be covering. So um, basically, you know how to do technical analysis, kind of just for starters. So. Before we get into the topic of this video, if you guys are new to the channel, remember to subscribe and turn on post notifications as we put up one to two videos a day on cryptocurrency as well as online business and entrepreneurship. And I know I've been saying that for a while, but I just haven't put up any videos of online business and entrepreneurship. I only put up like three, but um, they are starting to come. I, you know, I have a lot more free time now. So um, if you guys are interested, I've recently put a course together for becoming a professional cryptocurrency trader and along with that course you get lifetime access to my private trading group which is going to include some things like giveaways daily signals and um, indicators on coins to trade one-on-one uh, -on -one, um, sessions and uh, weekly content um, giveaways i think i said giveaways um, but there's just gonna be a lot of content in that group um, you know, every day I'm going to be doing something in there. So uh, if you guys want to be a part of that, there's going to be a fee, a monthly fee for those of you who don't get the lifetime access through the course. And as the price of the course continues to rise, the price of the monthly subscription will continue to rise. And May 1st is going to be the first time the uh, price of the course rises. I think not positive yet. I might wait to get 100 people in the course first we're at about uh, 60 or 65 i think so 60 to 65 right now so um you know and it's only been open for about a week and a half so fill, filling up pretty quick so if you guys want to or are interested uh go ahead and you know, take a look maybe you'll um like what you see so uh, what we're going to be going over today like i said is technical analysis now a lot of people don't believe in technical analysis and to be honest, I don't believe in some of it. Um, a lot of people, I've seen some crazy looking charts, some absolutely crazy charts, just filled, the screen is just filled with all these different indicators and I don't even know, I don't understand hardly half of what they do, but I do understand it a lot, uh, including the basics, some advanced things, intermediate, all of it, you know. I am looking to help you guys out with trying to find the best indicators to use. So as we can see right here, we're on the five minute chart. Just gonna zoom out real quick. Five minute chart is usually what I use for day trading. One minute or five minute, um, you know, things don't move too fast with Bitcoin and they do, but uh, the percentage is not that large for small little day trades. So you gotta wait a little while to even get 1%. So so let's jump out to the one hour chart real quick and just take a look so um as we can see we've had some quite a reverse in momentum for bitcoin and a little bit of pull off i actually am just curious to see so first lesson is i guess we'll just start off here so fibonacci retracement is one tool you can use in order to um, look for uh, retracement levels and where exactly you should look to buy in after a large um, swing upwards so you usually want to put the bottom all the way at the bottom of where it was so right about here and then you're going to put align the top with the top uh, the la the highest price point in the area you're looking for and you can go ahead and do that now uh, these different levels are all very diff obviously different but um, usually you want to look to get in this level right here. So um, below 50% retracement or in this 60 to 70% retracement. And that is going to give you an optimal uh, entry point after a large bull run. So, um, you know, I would say anywhere from uh, 7,000, 7,000, I guess you could say, to about 8,000 is going to be an optimal entry point for where we're at right now. We went up pretty quickly in only, I mean, you know, a month-ish, but um, still pretty quick. So just want to actually see how far we did go up. Yeah, so 
almost 50% in about a month. So um, could see some retracement here. Definitely looking for that. But also looking like we are starting to see some bull movement. So um, getting into the indicators, right now you just have a blank screen. So what I just used there, that is a tool. That's the Fibonacci retracement. That is to find key entry levels. And I just went over what you're going to look for there. So indicators on trading view if you want to find them go over to indicators at the top just click the button and you're going to have this little dashboard i guess you could say of indicators so over on the left side you have technical analysis built-ins public library my scripts my scripts you can actually create uh, your own indicator based off whatever public library that's people that have created indicators and built-ins are normal indicators that have been used for years and years and years that are built in to the trading platform you can also look at fundamentals so you know anything you want to look at here uh, economy and symbols volume profile marketplace add-ons blah 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 blah. there's a lot you don't really need to know at all I really just use the built-ins for the most part so um, there's a lot of indicators so um, you know it's hard to really know which ones to use so that's why I'm making this video so what is our goal first we need to identify a goal so for me it's going to be looking for um, you know key entry points I want to buy as low as possible and I want to sell as high as possible so uh, we need to figure out some indicators for that so uh, I'm just going to draw this stuff out for you guys so we can get a little better look so um, yeah all right so what we are looking for is basically we want um, we want low lowest price and uh, we also want um, oversold we want to see oversold signals okay so we're gonna get into that uh, when we actually get into the charts again but we want to think of these two things we want the lowest price possible in the time period that we're trading in okay you don't have to look at the last three years that's not what we're going to be looking at we're looking to swing trade and day trade or if you're looking to long-term invest you can also use this as well um, so oversold signals we want the lowest price and we want a combination right we want a combination of indicators because if we just use one we may miss something that we wouldn't miss if we had a combination so we want to remember that you don't ever want to just use one indicator you want to be using um, multiple indicators at least more than two usually for me and um, another important thing is you want to always make sure there is a volume okay so volumes very easy and I will show you exactly how to look for that. So um, with this criteria, let's go ahead and jump into the chart. So um, thinking of that, I want to address the lowest price and oversold signals first, right? So some of the indicators we'll use for that is RSI as well as Bollinger Bands. okay all right so we now have two indicators we have Bollinger Bands which is going to create uh, basically three lines one uh, below one in the middle and one above prices okay so I'm going to go into a more of a day trading chart just so we can see this a little better let me just do five days here and yeah so all right we can see a little bit better and that is what we want so as you can see if you guys notice a little bit when you whenever you see sideways movement there always is a breakout at the end of that movement okay um, a few places you can see it let me just outline it possibly hmm. so right here um, let's see definitely right here and right here so as you can see there's like the Bollinger Bands kind of get 
more narrow and then they go wider and there ends up being a large price swing. So anytime you see something moving sideways a lot, look out for a large price movement once that sideways movement ends, okay? You can always take advantage of that. And how we're going to look for that is with the RSI, right? Um, these, the RSI basically signals when something is oversold. So as you can see, there's this purple area. And you guys really do not need to get too complicated and learn everything about all these indicators. You just need to know the basics, okay? So oversold means a bunch of people just sold the coin, whatever you're looking at, or stock. They just sold it and is now triggering an oversold signal, which basically says, okay, there's been a ton of sell-off. There need there's going to uh, there may be some buying movement starting to come in, and it kind of signals to traders, you know, there is time to buy. This is maybe an optimal entry point. So with that, we are able to identify pretty good entry point just based off these two signals, right? But you don't want to just have two signals. Like I said, you want to be using multiple indicators. Like I said, uh, you want to have a combination, right? That combination is going to be very important. So, uh, so far we have two indicators, not too bad. We're looking to identify optimal entry points with these two in indicators. And so far we are not doing too bad. So, uh, we're going to come back over here and next thing we are going to address is we want to look for momentum i'm just going to say mom mom stands for momentum if you guys need to know so momentum um basically we want to know uh, where a the price of something is going to go in a time period okay momentum is, means you know if there's positive momentum it's going to move upwards for a certain amount of time until that momentum is lost and possibly there's a trend reversal and those are the two things that are now basically key right so let me clear this next things we're looking for is like I said let me just So, like I said, momentum, and we want to look for trend reversals. All right, so momentum and trend reversals are the next two things that we're looking, going to look for. And before we do that, we obviously want to take care of the volume, like we said before. So you're literally just going to type in volume, and the first one is right there. Okay, the volume is going to be displayed down here and you are going to be able to see uh, spikes in volume. As you can see right here, when there is this optimal entry point, there, there was a sell off and now we have a ton of buying volume because of that signal. Okay, people waited for the sell off, they waited for that optimal entry point and they took advantage of it. You can see the volume right there and just it starts to move up right these these are short-term trends okay so in order to determine and look and say okay these are trends and I'm sorry if you guys can hear my dog barking I apologize for that but hopefully it's not too loud so next two indicators one of them is going to be the stochastics all right and okay so stochastics as you can see uh, kind of determines the trends, but it, it, it looks a little bit, little bit wacky. So what I do with stochastics is I, I play around with it a little. So for K, you just want to put 8. For D, leave it as 3. And for smooth, put it as 3. And this smooths it out a little bit, makes it a little bit easier to read and see what we're working with. So as you can see, something like this, a little bit of a sell-off right here. Uh, triggers the RSI for an optimal entry point. We see that at the same time, uh, the stochastic is all the way down below this uh, purple area, which is also signaling oversold and uh, reversal in the trend. And the blue line comes up over the orange line, which signals a trend reversal. Okay, so you just need to know when the blue line goes up and over the orange line, that's a positive trend reversal. And when the um, 
when the blue line crosses back under the orange line, that's usually a signal that it may be time for the trend to start coming back down. That's not always the case, but normally when we do have an oversold signal on the RSI, and we also see this right here, we are going to see some upwards movement. And as we can see, we started to see some upwards movement, came back down a little bit, as you can see, also came back down on the stochastics. And we could have gotten a trade right here, Draw, sold off here, come back down, got another trade and move back up. Now, of course, for me, I wouldn't have entered because I don't enter trades unless I see an oversold signal on the RSI. That's just me. That's just, I'm very strict with my trading. Uh, my rules are very strict. So basically stochastics is going to cover both. So trend reversal and momentum. It's going to show the momentum upwards. Right now, it looks like we're getting to a narrow period. So we should have a breakout up or down after this narrow period. So it looks like we have momentum working upwards just a tiny little bit. And once that momentum uh, has reached the top, wherever that may be, it will start to, you know, cross over and under the orange line, kind of like how you saw here, or it may just go straight under and go drop back down. So that is going to allow you to read trends and also the momentum. So guys, these are the four indicators uh, that I use. There are some other indicators that I use on occasion, but um, these are just some simple indicators that are really easy to read. You don't have to understand anything complex and you're going to be able to be a profitable day trader. Now, if you guys want to learn all of my rules, all of my strategies, everything about my trading, everything about cryptocurrency in general, I did release a cryptocurrency education course, which also includes lifetime access to the trading group, which is going to have a ton of features in it when it launches on March or May 1st. So if you guys are interested in that, like I said, there is a link to that in the description. So uh, go ahead and check that out if you're interested. But um, this is basically just four indicators, four key indicators, I would say that you definitely want to be using when day trading. This is my key indicators. If you guys uh, prefer others, I'd be happy to hear them in the comments. Especially if you know I look at the indicators you guys use and I'm like, wow, why have I not been using this? I would really appreciate that. Love having discussions in the comments about you know whatever the video is about or whatever you guys want to talk about. So um, you know, leave some comments on whatever you guys are thinking, whatever you guys use, what kind of strategy you guys are using, and uh, I'd, be I'd be happy to talk about it. So um, that's gonna be all for today, guys. Uh, like I said, there's links in the description for a free download top 57 cryptocurrencies um, for profitable gains in 2018 and beyond and also a link to check out my cryptocurrency course so if you're interested in either of those they will be in the description all right guys so uh, that's gonna be all for today if you enjoyed today's video feel free to leave a like and comment on what you think follow us on instagram and subscribe for more daily videos and come back tomorrow for another one have a good one guys